What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Twisted Tailgate Sports Talk. <clears throat> Today, I want to preview the Kentucky Wildcats 2023 uh, football schedule. Now, looking through the power rankings over the weekend, I did a video on this. Uh, Kentucky is 24th, according to Mark Schleyball of ESPN, in the top 25 power rankings. Now, we know they lose Devin Leary. Chris Rodriguez. Uh, Cavassier Smoke is transferred out. I think he is now at Colorado. Um, but they bring in Ray Davis at running back from Vanderbilt. 1,000-yard rusher from 2022 Vanderbilt team. And uh, also Devin Leary from NC State at quarterback. So let, I just wanted to break down and kind of look at Kentucky's uh, schedule. And at the end of this, you guys tell me where you think they're going to end up in the top 25, um, where they're going to end up, where they even may end up in the SEC East as far as getting in the race for the SEC East. <clears throat> Last year, Kentucky finished 7-6. and six. They were 3-5 and five in the SEC. Um, not a great year under Mark Stoops, who has had a couple 10-win seasons there at Kentucky. Can Kentucky find that magic again? Let's look through their schedule and see where uh, maybe there's some trap games in here or a trap game or two. Um, and how tough is the schedule? And you guys let me know where you think Kentucky will end up um, at the end of the season. First, they start out September 2nd, Ball State um, versus Kentucky. Uh, Kentucky's schedule to start with, um, they're not really running the gauntlet, but here's the thing when you start out with three uh, smaller teams It tends to make your schedule a little tougher um, Down the stretch. So like I said September 2nd first game Ball State travels to Kentucky um, You know We all gonna say that you know, that's a that's a win for Kentucky in there uh, And they get to build some you know, camaraderie amongst the new guys, the transfers, the uh, recruiting class. Because after Ball State, on the September 9th, they go to Eastern Kentucky. Another small team. Expectations are Kentucky's going to win that game at Kentucky. Uh, following by week 3 to 16th of September, Akron comes into Kentucky. So Kentucky already three home games to start off the bat. You realistically, you're going to look at Kentucky and say, yeah, that's they're going to be 3-0 and after uh, after the first three games. And then they kind of get into the SEC schedule. Now, week four, September 23rd, they play against Vanderbilt. Now, last year, you would have thought, well, Kentucky's taking out Vanderbilt. They're going to beat Vandy. Uh, but Vandy actually went into Kentucky and beat Kentucky. And that was probably the largest upset of the year for Kentucky, losing to Vanderbilt. But uh, Kentucky has to travel to Vandy. You would look at Kentucky's roster and you would think, you know, Kentucky's going to win this game in Vandy. It's not like you're going into a uh, a very vicious atmosphere down at Vandy. So, you know, right there, 4-0 for Kentucky, most likely. Um, you guys give me your opinion. You think Vandy can beat Kentucky? Give me that. Uh, opinion on that also then you got the Gators coming to town now there's a lot of talk about the Florida Gators not being as good as they were last year um, but does Florida have some surprises can they go into Kentucky and beat Kentucky we shall see you guys give me your opinion if you think this Florida game is kind of a trap game for Kentucky because I'm telling you what comes next is a little bit of a gauntlet for Kentucky so maybe this could be a game where Kentucky, I know they never take Florida lightly, but the following game on October the 7th, they take on Georgia. So knowing Georgia's coming or you're traveling to Georgia, do you not focus as much on Florida as you probably should? I don't see Kentucky not focusing on Florida, but you never know. And then you go into Georgia. Now we know going into Athens, this is going to be a tough atmosphere for Kentucky to uh, play in. And I don't 
think Kentucky has the talent to match up with a Georgia. But uh, can they get in there and scrap and fight? The following week, Missouri. Now, this, this to me, looks like maybe the one spot you have to be careful of a trap game. Um, Missouri made a bowl game last year. Good defense. What they have returning. We'll, we'll take a look at Missouri when we break down their schedule and what they have returning, who's their starting quarterback going to be, uh, even their run game, um, running backs. We'll break those guys down a little bit too. Um, stay tuned for that Missouri schedule. I've already done some of these previews. I did Alabama, I did Tennessee, I did Georgia, um, and I did Texas A&M. So, past Missouri, October 28th, you got Tennessee coming into Kentucky. Now, that's where I'm a little weary, and that's why I said, you know, they get a week off in there. It looks like the third week of October is the bye week for Kentucky. So, I don't think... They'll overlook Missouri just because they have an extra week to plan for Tennessee to come in. And they do get Tennessee at home. Um, and does uh, Mark Stoop set up and have something special planned for Tennessee? We'll see. We'll look at Tennessee and we say Tennessee's the advantage here, even though you're playing in Kentucky. Following week, November 4th, Kentucky has a travel to Mississippi State. Another area right here that could be a trap game having to travel down to Mississippi State, and it's wedged between another big, big football game with Alabama coming into Kentucky. Uh, Mississippi State, we know they're going through a lot of changes. Head coach, rest in peace, Mike Leach. Um, style of offense will be different. Is that a trap game for Kentucky? You guys let me know. It could be. And then... The following week, of course, November 11th, you have Alabama coming to Kentucky. Big game for Kentucky. Always big to have Alabama come into your stadium. Um, you would think Kentucky's outmanned, outgunned, out-talented. Can Kentucky pull off a home win? Can they pull off an upset against Alabama, get a home win um, over there at Kroger Field? We shall see. The following week, Kentucky has to travel to South Carolina. Now, I'm going to give Kentucky some credit here. That's a pretty rough stretch of game schedule. The problem is you decided to do this because you decided to take on those first three weeks of staying at home against some inferior competition. Um, so now you've got to meet the SEC head on. Uh, November 18th, you're coming to South Carolina. Your last trip there, you beat south carolina in south carolina last year we were able to beat you at home and i've heard all this talk about leary being a better quarterback than spencer rattler i'm not buying it until i see leary play in the sec get used to the size and speed of the sec coming out of a north carolina state playing in an acc schedule now you have to play a sec schedule and how are you going to stand up against the Georgias, the Tennessees, the Alabamas, uh, throw in Missouri, Kentucky, and now South Carolina, and you have to travel into williams Bryce Stadium in South Carolina. Can Kentucky pull the upset? Because I, at this point in time, I don't know where Kentucky's going to be as far as their uh, wins, losses, whether they'll be favored over South Carolina at this point. Um, it's quite a possibility of Kentucky to be favored, depending on how they run that schedule. I just, I, I don't know how coming into South Carolina, Kentucky would be favored in that game, but we'll see how the season goes. And then, of course, your rivalry game, Louisville, ACC opponent. Um, always a great game when you have rivalry games amongst the uh, in-state schools. And Kentucky stand-up. Take proud for SEC. Do not lose to an ACC team. Um, I know it's, it, it's easier said than done, but uh, yeah, Louisville I think was a decent team last year. I think they had a nine and three record or eight and four or something at the end of the year last year in the ACC. But uh, yeah, Kentucky take care of business in this game. Um, let me know what you think, Wildcat fans. What do you think of your schedule this year? What do you think your record will be at the end of the year? And do you think you're in contention for the SEC East? 
I'd love to hear from you guys, get some more involvement in my channel from Kentucky fans. Uh, even get some of you guys to call into the shows or come in and give your opinion on what you think that 2023 Kentucky Wildcats are going to look like. Um, and uh, we all have optimism. Season hasn't started yet. But like I said, Kentucky Wildcat fans, come over and let me know what you think about the video. And uh, the little bit of preview I did. We'll do some predictions down the road. I hope to set up something with a, uh, a good uh, Kentucky YouTuber or someone from the media in Kentucky and kind of do a little prediction and let me know what they think of uh, realistic expectations for Kentucky this year. That's uh, going to do it for me today. Peace. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to get in that comment section and let give me some comments on what you think about this video. Talk to you later.